On a heavier note, this discussion is a pretty important discussion that we should be having. You know, I used to serve as chairman of the state police budget, and I got to know Colonel Etchew quite well. And I know one thing for sure, she's a woman of honor, integrity, and she takes it very seriously. And it's that honor and integrity that propagates throughout the whole state police organization. And so when I hear people coming up and making attacks against her for doing something that was done in the spirit of honor and integrity, and frankly in the spirit of the oath of office that all of us took, which is to support and defend the Constitution, I get a little upset and we want to make sure that we express support for her. The sad part is, and the sad facet of what's going on with these protests that are happening at our football games, they are protesting the national anthem. They are protesting our flag. They may be unearthing certain issues that need to be brought to attention. I get it. But if you're going to protest, don't protest the symbol of our unity. Don't protest the symbol of our national integrity. I don't know if you guys remember what uh, inspired the events that led to the words in our, found in our national anthem. It happened at the Battle of Baltimore. Francis Scott Key was anxiously waiting until the dawn's early light to see that flag waving over the fort. You know why he was anxiously waiting? Because just a, a little over a week earlier, our capital of our country was razed to the ground by the British. We were a fledgling nation at that time. We didn't know if we were going to survive. And so when he penned those words saying, oh, say can you see, it's because that flag was still standing. That national anthem is a celebration of what brought us together as Americans under some of the most adverse circumstances we had ever fought under in an, uh, or faced as a nation. And so for the idea that we're protesting that symbol of unity, that's a real shame. And sadly, you know, I spent a lot of time reviewing what's going on in our education system right now. And I've seen a lot of what's being promoted. There is a certain Howard Zinn approach or philosophy in education that says America is a land of oppression. It's not a land of freedom, it's a land of oppression. We're seeing that manifest now with these protests. That is something that people have bought hook, line, and sinker. And that is not the America that we are. People are trying to make us that way. People are trying to fundamentally transform us into America like that. The fact is, we have this expression, a pluribus unum, from many into one. We are united by a common set of ideals. And when people are kneeling down at those stadiums, they are attacking those unified ideals. They're, not, they're attacking all the people who sacrificed to preserve those ideals. And heck yeah, that should be, uh, that's the stuff that should be protested, not our flag, not our national anthem. And it's time we started acting together like Americans. If we want to be the United States of America, we need to be united. I'd like my remarks out of the journal, please. Senator Kohlbeck requests his remarks to present journal without objection, so ordered.